everyone, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com and today I'm going to show you how to get free TV. Uh, now first of all what you have to do is go to DisableMyCable.com and enter your zip code into the station finder on the front page. That will tell you how many stations you can get in your area. Now if you live in a big city, it should be no problem. You should be able to get all the networks and PBS uh, plus a few local stations. But if you live 30, 40, 50 miles away from the city, uh, you might not be able to get a lot of stations. So check the station finder uh, on disablemycable.com before you uh, proceed with this. Okay, let's say you've uh, checked the site and you can get channels. Um, the first thing to do is to uh, disconnect your cable TV or satellite or whatever you have right now. So we'll just unscrew that cable. Uh, but hang on to this, we'll need it later. We'll use it later. Um, now, I have some antennas here. Uh, check your basements and garages for uh, a rabbit near antenna, which is what this is right here. Um, this is an old style antenna that was used um, back when there was analog TV, and it works with digital TV. Uh, but I don't recommend going out and buying one of these because there's a lot better antennas available. Uh, just use it for testing. And if you have a modern TV, you can just uh, plug it right in uh, and screw it into the back of your TV. Um, if you have an old tube type TV, you'll need a converter box. And you can go to my site and see where to get some of those. Now, the antenna that I like, that I use, is called the Mohu Leaf. It's actually a flat antenna and it resembles a kind of a laminated piece of cardboard, as you can see. Now there are a lot of uh, manufacturers who make these flat antennas and they're all uh, quite good, at least the ones I've uh, looked at. Uh, WineGuard is good and there's uh, several others. Uh, but I use the Mohu Leaf, uh, it's, it's probably one of the most popular ones. Um, and it works very well. Um, so uh, once you get one of these, uh, simply plug it in. Now if you don't have an antenna, and you probably don't, uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to improvise one real quick. Uh, but for, uh, for now, we'll just keep going here, and uh, you can see that later on. Okay, uh, that's all fine and good, uh, but most of us uh, don't have an antenna on hand. So um, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to improvise an antenna, just to see if this whole thing works. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, get some coax cable, and just, just use the coax cable that used to connect your TV to your cable box, or your cable box to the wall, or... Um, Whatever coax you can get, it's, uh, the same cable that connects to your, your uh, cable box. Um, so plug in one end to your TV. Make sure it's in all the way. And then take the other end and find the center pin that's sticking out of the middle of it. And you'll want to touch this against something that's metal uh, to act as your antenna. So what I'm using is this extension cord. Uh, now, make sure it's not plugged in. <laughs> you don't want to have this plugged in. Uh, but you're basically using this extension cord as an uh, antenna. So take the center pin. Uh, be sure you're not touching the side uh, screw part because uh, it won't work if you do that. Uh, touch the center pin against the blade of the extension cord. And again, the extension cord should not be plugged in. Uh, and that will act as your antenna. Now you'll probably want to get someone else to hold this for you because the next part of the test will take um, a few minutes to complete and that's when your TV is scanning. Um, so this is your temporary antenna. Okay, now that we have our antenna, the next thing we have to do is scan for channels. So go to your TV, turn it on, and hit the menu button. Uh, every TV is different. I have a Sony TV and on my TV, it's uh, my remote, you hit the menu button. Scroll down to where it says channel, hit enter, and in my case, there's a selection for a cable or antenna. Go ahead and change that to be antenna. Yours probably says cable. Go down to antenna, hit enter. Then go to auto program and hit enter there. Now, whoever's holding your antenna, if, you, if, if you're doing the makeshift antenna, this is when they'll have to start uh, holding that antenna to the, to the uh, extension cord to make sure that's working. If you have uh, Mohu Leaf, uh, you can just tape that to the wall or tape it to a window. That's usually the best place to, to have that. So let's start the auto program process. 
It says it takes 30 minutes, but in reality, this takes about five minutes on my TV, so we'll get it started. Hit OK. And it will go through a process of searching through channels. And uh, so just let this complete. Like I said, it takes five or um, 10 minutes. And uh, we'll come back when this is uh, closer to being done. OK, we're almost done scanning here. Um, we've been um, scanning for a couple minutes, not very long, and nowhere near 30 minutes. It's been less than five minutes. And I have the antenna just sitting on a chair with no uh, rhyme or a reason uh, uh, as far as the placement. And it's found 12 digital channels. Now, the analog channels don't really work, so don't worry about those. So that's our uh, results, 12 digital channels. And you should be able to start watching TV right away. So we're going to hit OK and get out of here. And you can see, it's probably hard to see from, from the video, but the picture quality is actually uh, fantastic. It's better than cable. So there you go. Free TV in about half an hour or less. I hope this video has been helpful. If you want any more information on free TV, antennas, uh, Roku and Apple TV, which I didn't even mention uh, yet, uh, and free TV on the internet, check out disablemycable.com. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.